Okay, another video. I've been asked about taking derivatives of Taylor polynomials, and it's easy. But I also thought I'd use it as a chance to review using geometric series to generate Taylor series. I want to get the Taylor series for tangent inverse of x. Now you could do it the long way by taking derivatives. First derivative would be 1 over 1 plus x squared. The second derivative would be negative 1, 1 plus x squared to the negative 2 times 2x chain rule. Then you'd have the product rule. So that would take some time. But if I recognize 1 over 1 plus x squared is 1 over 1 minus negative x squared, this is a geometric series with common ratio negative x squared. So I can just write it equal to 1 minus x squared plus x to the fourth minus x to the sixth. Now, you've got to remember this step. If I take the integral of this, the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared under threat of death is tangent inverse. So this is going to give me tangent inverse of x, and I integrate these easily. It's x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the 5th over 5 minus x to the 7th over 7. Now, I did a lot of talking there, but if I had this technique, I could have generated this in 42 seconds. I hope you're listening to Katy Perry in honor of those patriots. Pure class. All right. So tangent inverse, here's the Taylor series expansion for it. I'm going to call that f of x. If I want the third derivative of that at zero, just watch what happens. I take the first derivative. This is third grade stuff. Derivative 1 minus 3x squared over 3 plus 5x to the fourth over 5 minus 7x to the sixth over 7. I'm writing it this way for a purpose. Second derivative, this term goes to zero. Then I'm left with negative 3 times 2x to the 1 over 3 plus 5 times 4x cubed over 5 minus 7 times 6x to the 5th over the 7. Take the third derivative. This term now becomes negative 3 times 2 times 1. And the x term has disappeared over 3 plus 5 times 4. Oh, I didn't do it. 3, and this would be 5, negative 7 times 6 times 5 to the x to the 4th. I got ahead of myself. But now I want to know what f triple prime of 0 is. You see, I'm going to evaluate these at 0. All these terms are going to have x's. They're all going to 0. The only term that is going to survive is this one, which is going to be negative 3 times 2 times 1 over 3, which is negative 2. So, recognize with Taylor polynomials, since they're always written in terms of powers of x, if I said to you, what's the seventh derivative of this evaluated at 0, all these terms, this one, this one, and this one, are going to be out, because you're going to get down to, after the fifth derivative, 0. The seventh derivative of this will be a constant with no x. All the rest of them will have x's in them. So straightforward, once you start seeing taking derivatives of Taylor poly polynomials is easy because you're only using the power rule. All right. That's it.